And we realized that the problem was we weren't really transparent about our destination. We didn't say, here as a company is where we need to get to. We're like the David in the world of Goliath. So for us to survive, even more so than the other guys, innovation is critical. If you visit the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, you'll see engraved on many stones there, who is to say what is impossible? How many of you would like, at some point in your life, the opportunity to go into space? Raise your hand. It's actually how today we need to collaborate much more. And if you look at this space, the space of the smart city, you really want to have designers collaborating with computer scientists, collaborating with mathematicians. Continue the great scientific tradition of trying to better understand the power of the atom and harness its power. But we're not building digital maps of cities and states, we're building digital models of how humans operate. I looked at the agenda and I thought it was really a futuristic sort of approach to technology and its application for society. So we developed regional editions of the Innovators Under 35. And now we've got 20 regions all around the world. It's also a really great opportunity to showcase the, the work that we've been doing. It has actually uh, created a lot of momentum for the, the project. We have so much uh, uh, press interest as well as interest from diagnostic com commercial communities. So it has built a great momentum for the company. Ladies and gentlemen, the young innovators under 35. <laughs> but the basic idea is this is what we want to do on our side. We want to provide a platform for innovation. That the best way to predict the future is to create the future. So we foresee that we will see unmanned ships and we're going to make, it, make sure of it by creating them ourselves. For, for people who don't know uh, what Baidu is, you can always think Google is American Baidu. What you're seeing here is an image of a AR head-worn display. So it is said that God created man in his image. So now man is trying to recreate his own image in the form of what's known as the digital human. The reception here was, was amazing. We've, we've received, we, yeah, we've received a, a lot of business cards, we've received a lot of interest, uh, and we even scheduled a few demos for a few customers already during the first day. Everybody who's here is hungry, okay? They're hungry for not just information, but hungry for for knowledge and about hungry for how to connect the dots. Quite a few uh, new technologies which are coming through. I can see a lot of applications which can be uh, directly imparted into the business. MTech has been for us a very fantastic way to meet a lot of people in very short time and definitely we, we had very good feedbacks and we, we definitely think we're going to have good collaboration in the future here. It's a great collection of people, a lot of the smartest minds, and things like this in Singapore let me come to a particular city and see all the best and brightest in that particular city. Come here and see the future. Come here and understand the technologies that will have the largest impact throughout Asia and perhaps beyond.